Hello and welcome to our A Shampoo Zip Pro 3 video tutorial. Compressing and extracting files are common operations when using a computer. Here's how to do it with our latest Zip program. The program gives you two ways to compress your files and folders into archives. The quickest way is through Windows Explorer. Simply select and right-click the files to bring up the context menu. This menu contains several functions. I'll go with Compress with Options, because this allows me to add additional files and adjust settings like file format and compression strength. I then assign a name to my archive. For this example, I'll leave the save location untouched. When I'm done, I click Add to create the archive. The application will close automatically once the process is complete. I can double-click to open the archive and add or remove additional files and folders if needed. As mentioned before, there is another way to create an archive. First, I launch the application and select New Archive. I then enter a name and click Save. Next, I select files and folders to be archived and click Add. The selected files will then show up in the new archive. Here's how to update an existing archive. First, I open the archive. Then, I click Add and select Files and Folders to include. Once I click Add again, the selected files will be added to the archive. The Home button takes me back to the Start page. Next, I'll show you how to use A Shampoo Zip Pro 3 to extract files from an existing archive. First, I need to open an archive, ideally directly from the start page. The extract button is split into two parts. The bottom half lists previously used output locations for quick access. The top half provides additional options like output location, file name handling and more. Once I click Extract, the files will be restored from the archive. Just as with compression, various extraction functions are available through the Windows Explorer context menu. First, I right-click the archive and select Extract 2 to launch a Shampoo Zip Pro 3. I can then select the output location and create new folders if needed. Once I click Extract, the files will be restored from the archive and the program will close afterwards. Finally, here's how to customize the list of functions that appear in the Windows Explorer context menu. That's it for today's video on A Shampoo Zip Pro 3. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Use the below link to try out the program for free. 
Thanks for watching and enjoy using the program.